Hi, I'm Kate and I'm going to show you how to make this lovely simple beaded bar necklace. These are the tools we're going to be using for our project. Most jewellery pliers sets contain all three of these, uh, so you can find them online. Uh, first of all, we'll start with the round nose pliers. As you can see, they've got a round nose so you can make loops. These are your side cutters. They have a sharp edge on one side that you can cut your wire with. Uh, if you cut it so the wire points down, the wire will land on the table rather than flying away somewhere. And these are chain nose pliers, or you might get flat nose pliers in a, a set. They have a flat edge that you can use to hold things steady. You can bend your wire using it. You can crimp in uh, sticking out ends um, and use it for a lot of very useful um, projects. This necklace is a really simple project and you will need a necklace. I'm using a ready-made necklace that I'm going to snip. You need some beads for your bar and you need a length of wire. This is two and a half inches, which should be sufficient for these beads. So to get started with this necklace, we need to cut a little nip in the chain at the halfway point. So make sure it's the same length on each side and cut one of the chain links. You should just be able to pull it apart like this. My chain's 16 inches, so the bar will add another inch and a half or so. So it's going to be about 17 and a half inches. Uh, you can make it other lengths, but as you can see now, I'm putting the wire through the last link. It needs about half an inch poking through because you're going to use that bit to wrap around and secure it in place. So double it back on itself. So it needs to be 180 degrees and then making sure that the chain part is right in the corner, hold it with your pliers and then wrap the shorter bit around the longer bit. So it's going to sort of end up looking, you can either do it once or you can do it two or three times, uh, which would make it more secure and that's what I recommend. Um, it'll end up looking like a spiral. you're also going to end up with a little bit sticking out. You can either wrap it round again and again until the whole piece of wire is kind of wrapped around that stalk. Um, you will have a kind of a longer spirally bit at the end to do that, but I think it looks nice just with two or three loops. And then you need to use your chain nose or flat nose pliers, or we'll perhaps do that at the end. Um, add your beads in the order that you want. I'm making a rainbow. You can also make it longer or shorter. It can be nice just with even one single bead. Um, this is basically called a connector. So the long version is a long connector but, and you can have them on a chain with several of them um, with bits of chain and then the connector with the beads and then a bit of chain again um, to make a nice design. So add the other side of the chain onto the wire and then just like before you're going to make a loop but you need to leave a gap big enough for your wire to go around so about a quarter of an inch I suppose and then do exactly the same thing make the loop so it's 180 turns back 180 degrees on itself hold it tightly between your pliers and then you can just wrap it round the same number of times as you did on the other side so two or three in this case and then get your, your cutters and cut the wire off on both sides as close as you can, but be careful not to snip either the loop or the other bit of wire. It's quite easy to do that if you haven't got your cutters in quite the right place. And then use your pliers, it can be a bit fiddly, but just to tuck in the, the little bit that's sticking out. You need to do it on both sides.
voila, finished.